Kevin, your community doors are now open for members of the community who need help just getting through their toughest challenges. Our Jesse Carbonari was in downtown West Palm Beach to see the new housing campus. We're told the new building, which is right here behind me in downtown West Palm Beach, is large enough to house 25 people. Three, two, one. Woo! Known as Sea Place and located in the heart of West Palm Beach, this building now home to those who need help getting back on their feet. Southeast Florida Behavioral Health Network providing the finances to make it all possible. The nonprofit, The Lord's Place, partnering with them to operate and deliver services. They're a special group of people and oftentimes it is so easy to ignore them and to not serve them. And so when we were asked to serve this population, we are very humbled and honored. Over the next month, together, they'll be welcoming those who are homeless, have been recently released from behind bars, or are in need of mental health support. Each person matched with a case manager who will work with them to help with basic needs like food, clothing, job training, counseling, and other services. These are people that have layers and layers and layers of issues that we one by one need to peel those off so that we can identify what are the needs to make them um, um, independent, to make, empower them to be the best they can be. The new campus providing short-term supportive housing for about 18 to 24 months to pre-selected individuals. The final goal though is to have them eventually transition into permanent housing. C Place falls in line with my vision of making West Palm Beach a community of opportunity for all, where anyone, regardless of their life situation, can achieve their highest goal right here in the city of West Palm Beach. Reporting from West Palm Beach, I'm Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News.